wanna do it. I'ma buy up the bar and make it rain in that hoe too. Your girl showing up in the club. Why they throwing nigga love? Why they giving me them hook? I just keep popping the book. Man, we love to celebrate. So we do this every day. Hello, everybody. I'm once again Kevin Mumphrey doing another artist spotlight for Win Radio. Today we're talking to the one and only Kickman Teddy. How are you doing today? Yo, 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 what up, everybody? What up, everybody out there, man? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing well. I'm currently on tour and uh, doing my thing, man. And it's good to see your face finally and, you know what I'm saying, get some talk on the way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so first and foremost, where did the name Kickman Teddy come from? Man, it all started um, in the church and, uh, like, you know, uh, I started on the choir scene, so every everybody was like, we're going to start calling you kick, man. You got a fast foot, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it all started from that, man, you know, and it's kind of blew up from there. Now, I've heard we've been doing this for a little while. And we've heard a lot of artists say that they've mm -hmm. gotten their start in the church. So what is it about oh, the yeah. church that benefited you as an artist? Well, man, it um, stems in my family, like, my whole family background history is music. Um, everybody um, played or sang, and it was just a part of my family, like both sides, my mom and my dad. So I couldn't get around it. And uh, I was beaten on everything as a kid. So it just, it was always in me. And, and so was it, you know, my brothers and my sisters, nieces and nephews, you know, and it goes on. So it's, it's, it's always there. So yeah, you mentioned that your family was also in, into music. So what is having like that musical family dynamic? How does that kind of motivate you as far as wanting to be a musician? Man, it pushed me when I didn't want to do it. Like my mom, my mom would make us, you know, stand there and sing songs for her. So it was <laughs> I did it when I didn't even want to do it, you know, and as I start getting older, you know, I saw that that work ethic will pay off. Like you just got to, you know, keep at it and keep doing it, you know. And even sometimes when you don't feel like doing it, you have to do it. You got to push yourself. So that's been, you know, my, my family was a big motivation for me, you know, and growing up, you know. So, um, you know, I always want to give back into that, you know. So what all the instruments can you play? Uh, drums. I play at bass. Um, I can play at keys a little bit. Not, not a lot. I can get, you know, if I'm producing, if I'm, uh, pr producing most of the times, um, I can pick my way through it. You know, um, I have an ear for it. So it's like, I just, you know, put it all together and, you know, um, but yeah, I, those, those three drums, of course, is my, my main, um, go-to has been all my years of being on this earth uh, drums has been my main love my first love and uh, that's my biggest background and got me you know through so many doors and beyond so what is it about the drums that just drew to you man like it's just the feel like um man it's it's hard it's really hard to explain man like um I mean, it's 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 so much that goes into this instrument that, you know, just getting sounds out of it. Um, it's just music to your ears, man. It's something I can't even explain at times, you know. So are you able to kind of like freestyle with the drums until you just kind of hear a rhythm that works for you? No, nah, man, like, you know, I grew up that way, like just playing, especially in churches, but like you know on tours and stuff like that you're basically playing a record you you basically playing what you've heard before like i'm playing like music like timeless music man like from prince you name it i'm out here playing it and um it's just different man like um even going back and getting that music under my belt and playing that music for what it is man playing the parts um that's the most important to me, man, uh, when it comes to that. So, yeah, so, it, it, it's you to work. Were, it get it. Go what ahead. What artists were you listening to growing up? 
I was into everything, man. Like I listened to classical. I listened to jazz. Um, I I think I have a bit of every everything, man. Like um, it wasn't just one style of music that I listened to as a kid. Like my dad would listen to Elvis, um, and then put on some Temptations. Like it was kind of all over the place. Like, um, and he really didn't give us uh like close our ears to music. He let us listen to whatever we wanted to listen to. Or my mom would put on music and, you know what I mean? Like it was just all over the, over the place. And so I grew up appreciating music, you know, in such a different way than kids around me did because they were listening to like rap and so forth. I would get into that. I was into that. I was rapping and doing, doing it all, you know, but they came to me and just, me being by myself, I would listen to stuff like jazz and classical. So, you know, and they thought I was weird for that a lot of times. <laughs> so I wanted to talk about, uh, cause you're also a drummer the band Free Soul, correct? Yes. So, yes. Um, and it's a, like a hip hop rock band, right? That's correct. So, yeah. Um, um, no, no, go ahead, please. No, yeah, yeah. Um, we started back in the early two thousands, and uh, I mean, we we was we was on a high, man. Like you know, um, yeah, the free soul. But what were you about to ask me? So, um, one thing is like, how does why do you believe that rock and hip hop seems to go so well together? Cause it's so hardcore, man. Like it it goes so hard, and when you put it together it it fits you know and uh back in the day a lot of people didn't think it would you know when run dmc um did walk this way um and added the rock element to it you know and nobody at that time thought it would work you know until actually they got together and put it together even michael jackson man when you go back and what he did with slash and he was changing the sound of what music, you know, you can put, I feel like you can put any style together and make it work. You know, if you really want it to, you can put any style, man, like reggae and say salsa, you know what I'm saying? You can put anything to, to, to me, man, you can put anything together and, and sauce it up and it'll be different. You know, it's just how different do you want to be? Now you say you're currently on tour now. So, like, how's the tour life been yeah. for you? Man, um, it's crazy. Um, and there is plenty of work out here for so many musicians. And, you know, um, by this alone has um, allowed me to open doors for people that are around me and that are in my circle and 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 cats that I know that are, are ready for um, this type of work. You know what I'm saying? Like, because um, we was at a time when musicians didn't have no place to work or look, you know, and this is an opportunity for so many other musicians. So um, it's been a long stretch, man. I've been out here five months, man. I started in Europe and, you know, I, I've been loving it, man. It's, it's, it's definitely, you know, um, everything for me. And uh, I don't take it for granted, man. You know, I'm still able to do what I love to do and still be able to put my projects together and still be able to have an open mind to, um, you know, um, do more music. Now, do you and have like a next? favorite place? I love it in Europe, man. It's so diverse, it's so different. Uh, I don't think people even have a clue of what, what goes on if you haven't been out of the country or if you haven't experienced a different culture or, you know, uh, go somewhere different. You know, I don't think a people, uh, I don't think people have a true understanding of what it is for diversity and to be different and to see different things and to open your um, horizon to different things that are out there, man. Like it's, it's a whole nother world out there. And uh, I love it, man. I'll tell any musician that, um, or anybody per se, that wants to travel and go see the world Man, it's an open space out there to experience so much more, you know. Um, I used to look at things that only 
from where I was at that time, like, you know, um, and I had never been out of the country before. And when I started to go, it just opened my mindset to so much more, even musically, man. It's just different. Now, you've been in this game for a while now. So what do you, for somebody who's wanting to start off doing what you're doing, what would you, how would you say to them man, to kind of, like, gain the longevity that you have? Man, don't just be an artist. Know the business, like know the business side more than you would be the artist. Like, you know, so many artists sign bad contracts b because they only see the material first. Don't just see the material, man. That'll that'll come. You know, if it's done right, it'll come to you right. You know, so many artists get screwed over because of what they don't know. You know, educate yourself. Educate yourself about the business, man. Like, this is a business, you know. I know how to sign my own contracts, but I also know how to get the, the legal work done to where it's done right and you're not signing a bad deal. Most artists don't think about that. They think about the bright lights and they think about everything until then. Somebody's owning your masters, somebody's owning your publishing, somebody owning you. And then there's nothing you can do about that because they own you at that point, you know? And so many artists for years have been getting screwed over simply because they didn't educate themselves. True that. Well, thank you for taking time out for giving us those gems and talking to us today. I greatly appreciate it. No doubt, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. Till next time, I'm Kevin Mumphrey, and this is Win Radio.